We will get to the full holiday forecast in a moment, but first, a former UNCG student who killed four people 20 years ago will soon be eligible for parole. That's years ahead of schedule. Many will never forget why Janet Danahay is in prison. She was sentenced to life back in 2002 for setting a fire as a prank. It became one of the deadliest fires in Greensboro's history. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake spoke with Janet Danahay's sister after Governor Roy Cooper commuted her sentence. It's the first time any family member has given an on-camera interview. After 20 years, this truly was a prank. This was not any ill, ugly, vengeful act on her part. Janet Danahay has an opportunity to go home. This morning I woke up with a sense of freedom inside of me that I had not experienced before. She knows she's going home. Back in 2002, what was meant as a prank against an ex-boyfriend turned into the deadliest fire in Greensboro's history at the time, weighing heavy on all who were involved. Help get the, the bodies out when the coroner decided to do that. And uh, he said it was all sad. Uh, yeah, 48 hours there was pretty rough on the... Uh, a lot of the firefighters. The fire that Dana Hay started spread to the entire building, killing sisters Rachel and Donna Uellen, Elizabeth Harris, and Ryan Beck. Dana Hay's sister Emily Dana Hay says this chance is well deserved. The thing I can't help but recognize is that we were initially facing the death penalty, went from the death penalty to four counts of life in prison without parole. So now this, so I am praising God because I think it's a miracle. Attorney Don Vaughn, who has represented Dana Hay for years, says it's time Dana Hay get out of prison. She spent 20 plus years incarcerated. This was a prank. It was a prank that went bad and she feels horribly, horribly about it and has lived the past 22 years with it over her head. Vaughn says one of the main reasons for the deaths, the apartment complex had wooden steps, which went up in flames, preventing the four from getting out. Vaughn explained that even after years behind bars, Dana Hay is still remorseful. My daughter and I visited with her about six weeks ago uh, uh, in, in, at women's prison, and uh, she cried uncontrollably on what happened. If she could do it over, of course she would. But now uh, it's time to... Uh, let the Governor's Act take effect. What the Governor's doing is giving her a second chance in life after a period of time that she has served. On January 2nd, Dana Hayes' attorney will request a parole hearing. That hearing will determine if she will be released and the conditions for release. If that happens, Dana Hay will live with her sister and is said to already have a job lined up.